Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I am talking about a very special pen and that is the Pilot Custom 823. So this pen is often mentioned as a grail pen for people, so a pen to really work towards and um, to save up for. And for me, it was the same. Um, I really looked forward to getting this pen. Um, some people in my immediate uh, vicinity love this pen. <clears throat> Um, and I see why. It's a very, very beautiful pen. Um, I have had a weird relationship with this pen because I love the way it looks. It is a good writer. Um, I like the filling system. However, however, um, it is a little too big for me. So it is quite heavy and quite big. And normally um, I like smaller pens. Uh, my hands are not very big, and um, I didn't really think about it when I bought this pen. Um, I still really want to fall in love with it. I gave it away for a while. I just got it back. Um, I'm borrowing it. I'm giving it back to the new owner. Um, but I want to try it again to see if I can actually fall in love with this pen. I'm going to give you a writing sample, a close-up of the pen, because it is gorgeous. And then I'll tell you... Um, more about it. Hope you enjoy. Let's switch the shot. Okay, here we are again with the 823 in its full glory. This is the Amber 823, which is basically a brown, semi-translucent uh, color, um, which makes it so that you can see the an ink in the barrel, but not fully see what color it is. Although you can really see that I have a purple in here which is lovely. Looks really good with the gold hardware. The cap band says Pilot Custom 823 and made in Japan. As you can see, I got the medium nib. Um, I would say this is a true medium. It writes like a Western medium, not like a, um, a Japanese medium. So barrel semi-translucent cap, also semi-translucent. There is an inner cap that you can see. It does not bother me very much, but it might bother you because you can't see the nib when it's capped. It does help to prevent the nib from drying out. There is a function to that. The cap, uh, the top of the cap has a brown a bit that is opaque. Same with the knob of the vac filler system um i don't know if you can see the rod in there so the vac rod you may be able to so what you do when you fill it is unscrew this put the nib in the ink pull this up and push it down which makes a vacuum in the barrel which creates um suction for the ink so the ink goes up uh, through a vacuum basically this nib, this nib is a number 15 nib. They're pilot sizes, so um, it's not really comparable to anything else. I do have a Twisby Go on my desk right here, so you can see the differences in size. So it is a big nib. It is a 14K nib. Um, this is a medium, as I've said before. And um, it is just a lovely writer. It is a vac filler. Um, and there's a shut off valve right here. So if you want to do lots of uh, uninterrupted writing, you need to unscrew the end to make sure that the ink can flow from the barrel um, to the feed. So that the... Um, the section right here is not shut off. What I did with this particular pen is take out um, the uh, part that actually shuts off that section. So I don't have to unscrew the back. I do do it sometimes because I feel like it does flow wetter when I uh, unscrew the back. Might just be in my head, who knows. The clip of this pen is a very well-known design by Pilot. It has a ball on the end. It says Pilot on there. 
Um, it is fairly stiff. It's very usable. I had a clip to my shirt today at work. Um, and it's easy to use. I think it's time for a writing sample. Um, it's such a lovely pen. I wish I was more in love with it, but alas. As you can see, it's fairly big in my hand. Pilot Custom 823 with Cross Violet. Cross Violet is actually my favorite ink of all time. I should do a review on that sometime soon. This is a medium nib. And it is like a true medium. I have a fine opus somewhere on my desk. This is in this, guys. Okay. This is Opus 88 uh, with a fine nib. Same ink, but you can see the difference. This has been inked for months. I need to clean it out. It was at my boyfriend's house. So yeah, you can see that that medium is a true medium there. So yeah, if you're in the market for a bigger pen with a bit of a bigger price tag, I think the Custom 823 is a really good contender because they are beautiful. Um, one thing to consider is that this is a regular number 50 nib. Um, they do also come with an FA nib. So if you like to uh, use a little bit of um, bounce in your writing to have a little bit of flex, you can actually get the Pilot Custom 83 with an FA nib. If I ever were to buy this pen again, uh, I would get the clear one. The clear one is absolute, absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then I would get the FA nib. I have the FA nib on my 912, um, and it's just a joy to write with. So yeah, great pen, not completely for me. Um, it's a little too big, but yeah, it is super, super lovely. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and got some useful information uh, from it. And I will see you soon. If there are any questions, please leave them in the comments. Bye-bye.